Bob Essel bought Essel's dugout from his brothers in 1972 when he got out of the Navy. He's been cooking and serving breakfast and lunch to customers on their way into and out of Atlantic City ever since, from this spot right alongside Route 40. The location was built in 1937 as an ice cream parlor. His brothers ran it as a coffee shop and gave it the name Essel's Dugout. The first thing I did is I had a uh, breakfast special that I like used to hear the blue plate special or something. Well, I called it, you know, the Dugout Special. It was two eggs, home fries, toast, and coffee for 89 cents. And back in, this is 1972, you got to remember. And they, uh, they just it went over big. Like many businesses in the area, the fortunes of Essel's dugout have been closely tied to those of Atlantic City. But what happened was in 76 when the referendum was passed, then everything started to bloom. And being on the Black Horse Pike here, I was in access into Atlantic City. And it just it snowballed. I mean, it was phenomenal business then in the, in the late 70s, the 80s, all with the construction of the casinos to what was going on. Essel's dugout has changed over time, as has Atlantic City. Bob Essel employs a waitress now and his wife helps out a couple of days a week. But in busier times, he had cooks, waitresses and his kids on board. Bob says he's not sure exactly what the city needs to do to improve the local economy and help out local businesses. But he is sure that the city needs to change its image and reputation. Well, I would say Atlantic City has got to get their act together. Something politically, uh, whatever they're doing, what they've done in the past has been wrong, obviously. I mean, for a, a resort to be, you know, as popular as it was, and then to lose that, you know, it's, that image has is, is been tarnished. So I think, you know, they've got to bring that back. The business just, like I said before, it just took off because there was so many people in this area working at the time. And then the, um, the gradual change, I say, was uh, around after 2008 is when it just, the business just slacked off because of the economy. The good news is that although things got pretty tough after 2008 and then the recent casino closures, business has started to turn around again, particularly on weekends. While we were there, a family visiting from Wisconsin told us they came to Essel's dugout every morning for breakfast while on holiday in the area. I guess in 2008, with the banks failing, that was a definite effect on this whole area. And you could see it, and then of course the last couple of years with what's going on in the casinos, it's a trickle down, I would call it. You know, there's a lot of people not working. Uh, lost four casinos, so all that has trickled down to what we have today. I have to say that the weekend business is really starting to pick up again, you know, whatever whatever it is, it's the generations that I've served are now, I'm into my fifth generation of uh, families, if you would, that I've served their great grandfathers. <laughs>